are you ready for it? In a matter of hours, eyes will be quite literally on the sky for the total solar eclipse. Yes, it'll only be a partial eclipse here in the Bay Area, but people are still excited. NBC Bay Area's Christy Smith tells us where you can watch and how to do so safely. In San Francisco, people are excited about the solar eclipse tomorrow. It's a rare event, right? I mean, why not take a, a chance to see something we may never see again? And at the Exploratorium, they're ready. Our viewing party is from 10 to 1230, and visitors of the museum will have an opportunity to get live coverage from Texas and Mexico um, of the solar eclipse. Um, and outside in our plaza, um, we are also going to be engaging visitors um, for the partial eclipse um, with um, providing safe viewing. I think it's a good time to have fun and experience a natural event. Rob Semper is chief learning officer at the Exploratorium. The sun will look like a bite was taken out of it by the moon obstructing the, the uh, sun. And in some places in the United States, there'll be a total solar eclipse running across the country from Texas on out through Maine. I am holding a pair of eclipse glasses um, that um, have been our best-selling item for the past few weeks. Um, we've been selling about 100 pairs a day. The solar eclipse has created a real demand for these. Eclipse glasses are necessary for any direct observation of the sun. Um, so our eclipse glasses are certified um, for safe viewing of the sun. If you wear these paper, these glasses, you can't see anything out through them except the sun when it's when it's when it's overhead. People are making plans and watching the clock. The countdown is on. Eclipse itself will start uh, if I looked at my calendar here around 10 14 the, so, and the moon will slowly edge into the sun. Maximum eclipse will be at 11 13 or so and then the uh, moon will pass by and it'll get back to full sun around 12 15. In San Francisco, Christy Smith, NBC Bay Area News.